Welcome to What's Up Poland, the regular show about anything and everything and everyone related to Poland. Now, this is the story. It's actually an American story. It's a story about American politics, but it's a Poland story wrapped within a Poland story wrapped within a Poland story, because this is all about uh, President Joe Biden's nomination for U.S. ambassador to the Republic of Poland, who happens to be a very American sounding fella called Mark Brzezinski. Now, if you're thinking that surname might ring a bell, you're absolutely right, because Mark Brzezinski turns out to be the son of a very famous titan, really, of American foreign policy in the 20th century, Zbigniew Brzezinski, uh, right up there with Kissinger, for example, in terms of his importance to American foreign policy, relationship with Russia, how they managed the Cold War. Mark Brzezinski, his son, as uh, Zbigniew Brzezinski had several kids. One of them is uh, Mika Brzezinski, uh, who's, uh, I think, an MSNBC, something like an American reporter, uh, quite famous in the US, um, had a number of kids. Mark Brzezinski is another high flyer from a family of high flyers, and he's going to be the American ambassador to Poland. Um, so many people remember uh, former Miss, uh, Miss Mosbacher, uh, Georgette Mosbacher, quite a colorful character. Um, Mr. Brzezinski, has just because he's... He's almost Polish, basically. I mean, he speaks fluent Polish. He speaks French. He's a Fulbright scholar, really clever. He's written. He's, he's even been a recipient at the Commander's Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Poland. Hands up if you want to get one of those. Sounds awesome. Bet there's a lovely meal attached to it, too. He's going to be the American ambassador to Poland. And I wonder, because I wondered to myself, if my dad was... So if I spoke the language of the country I was going to, say, country X, and my dad was from country X, and I identified in a cultural and emotional way with Country X, wouldn't it make me quite hard to represent my country in Country X when I was ambassador there? You know, <laughs> if you get to a point where you kind of need to, you know, when they summon the ambassador for the old, uh, when something goes wrong, which does happen, even between great friends like America and Poland, and any other international partner, you, you kind of, you'd have one foot in both camps. So I have to say one thing. I'm not sure President Biden has elected Mr. Brzezinski because he's counting on someone who's not going to be pro-Poland. But let's not complain, because out of all the potential options, I have to say, probably from a Polish point of view, this is the absolute best possible news. You've got someone whose dad was born in Warsaw, someone who is basically essentially Polish, a second generation, uh, someone, you know, deeply allied to um, to NATO and all these other things, uh, and someone very connected, of course, to the country who's come in. So he's he's not going to have to learn Polish like most diplomats do, and he's not really going to have to be briefed about the history and the culture of the country. He's going to be able to get in and get cracking, and hopefully that means that Poland's influence and ability to um, connect with the American administration will rise as quickly as Babcia's Makowiec. Actually, it doesn't rise very much. I think you have a metaphor now about a Polish food that rises, and I'm struggling to come with something. Let's just say, rises like your appetite when a bowl of zurek is put in front of you. Ambassador, Szanowny Ambassador. Now, I want to uh, just say about one thing. Uh, this video will be on YouTube and may well be watched by Americans. So first of all, we're very happy that Mark, your, your Mark, you're lending him uh, to us, but we must do some work on your Polish pronunciation. I don't think it's too much to ask, given how many um, people from Poland have come to your country, for you to learn just a little bit more pronunciation. Uh, I, I spent some time researching this story, listening to MSNBC and other reporters kind of butcher. You know, if you were to take a, like a, like a meat joint, and instead of nibbing at it, you just smash it on the table like this, bang, 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 and pieces flying everywhere. That's how my ears feel listening to those people try and pronounce Zbigniew Brzezinski. How hard can it be? Zbigniew Brzezinski. Come on, try it with me. Try it with me right now. Ready, 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 ready? Zbigniew Brzezinski. It's so easy. So please, no more. I can't even do it. My mouth doesn't, it's not, I'm not able to form. It needs to change. It must stop. So Mark, if you have any free time, Perhaps you can spend that co-educating your... I'm kidding, obviously, but we're not expecting you to say Brzezinski. I can't, probably can't even say it myself, but uh, we do know that we're happy to have you here. So if you'd like to uh, welcome the ambassador, you need to write underneath this, and he'll probably be trawling YouTube looking out. Everybody does it. 
not just me, uh, looking for his own name. So right underneath this story, Shanafi Pani Ambassadorja, we're very happy to welcome you. And Mark, if you're here as well, if you'd like to come on Heart of Poland, the premier English language um, program about Poland on thefirstnews.com, I think that would be a wise thing to do. We can do it in English or Polish, no problem. And I promise not to butcher uh, your family surname. Okay, see you again for another episode of What's a Poland.